Well, after a year-long probe looking into Russian links into the U.S. 2016 election, and the House Intelligence Committee has released its final report. Now, it is a redacted version, but it mostly clears Donald Trump of any wrongdoing while slamming the intelligence community for what it calls significant failings. But this probe was just one of several looking into the question of Russian influence. The Senate Intelligence Committee is also doing its own report. And let's not forget the one led by the special counsel, Robert Mueller. But for a look at the House's redacted report, we're now reaching out to national security lawyer Bradley Moss. He joins us in the U.S. Capitol. Uh, Bradley, nice to have you on the program. I want to begin here with the reaction that we're getting from Donald Trump at the release of this, again, the House Intelligence Committee report. And this is what Donald Trump had to say on Twitter, saying, quote, just out. House Intelligence Committee report released no evidence that the Trump campaign colluded, coordinated, or conspired with Russia. Clinton campaign paid for opposition research obtained from Russia. Wow, a total witch hunt must end now. So that is the U.S. president's conclusion. What do you make of that, Bradley? Well, look, I mean, this is the president, I think, latching on to anything he could have from a political and a PR standpoint to try to reinforce the argument he's been making that there was no collusion, that no crimes were committed. What the report shows, and this is, mind you, just a limited report in the sense that it's run by the House Intelligence Committee. They don't have readily available access to a grand jury or the prosecutorial authority that the special counsel has. But even with the House Intelligence Committee's investigation, they found repeated instances in which the Trump campaign officials, including the president's son, were willing to sit down in meetings with what was alleged to have been, what was promised to be damaging information provided by the Russian government, that they were willing to take steps that even the House Intelligence Committee, the majority uh, on the committee of Republicans said were ill-advised, they reflected poor judgment. And it makes it very clear throughout this report that the in entirety of the Trump campaign was naive, and arguably very susceptible to an influence campaign by Russian government operatives. But at the end of the day, they essentially clear him of wrongdoing. Yes, you're, you're, you're making those points, but they essentially clear him of wrongdoing. And one does wonder, did Republicans actually show willingness to investigate? Or was this really all a foregone conclusion for them as a way to support the, the president that represents their party? Well, I think there's both two sides to look at this. I mean, one, look, this was very much in some instances pass blocking for the president, a political, you know, checking of the boxes by Republicans on the Intelligence Committee, doing what they could show as, you know, bare bones diligence while not actually investigating very deeply. They certainly didn't do the kind of comprehensive and invasive inquiry that the special counsel is doing. They didn't interview numerous individuals, partially because it would overlap with the special counsel's investigation and they were trying not to run uh, and interfere with that, but also various individuals who a normal you know, prosecutor coming out of the Justice Department would have inquired to ancillary steps uh, when you were talking about people like George Papadopoulos or Michael Flynn, that the committee kind of did the initial work and then just kind of let it go from there. If people balked and didn't want to provide testimony on things they said was executive uh, privileged, they didn't push them the way the special counsel will. So I, look, this did some detail. I get what they were doing with it in terms of their conclusions, but the factual record is completely deficient in terms of the Intelligence Committee's report to reach a final conclusion of whether there was criminal coordination between the campaign and the Russians. Well, you say deficient, but could this report essentially be used to undermine confidence in the findings of any of those other investigations? I certainly think there's going to be certain political and media operatives who will use that as an argument. The Senate's still running their inquiry. The special counsel's still doing stuff. The president, of course, is tweeting out his uh, inner monologue day in and day out about what he thinks of the investigation. And it's certainly showing up in some polling in terms of how people on different sides of the ideological spectrum are viewing the special counsel and viewing this entire investigation. So no matter what comes out at this point, the president's very good at this, no matter what comes out from Mr. Mueller, there's a segment of the American population that will never believe it, will never agree with it. And I think the president's viewing that more as a political defense in case he's ever subject to impeachment, as opposed to really being worried one way or the other about legal liability.